Okay, while Larry is waiting in recovery, there's some instructions for blepharoplasty, what to expect, and then down here there's an instruction. And Dr. Bronner has given Larry post-operative care instructions for his blepharoplasty. And the care is keep your head elevated for two to three days. This will help keep the swelling down. Keep ice packs or frozen peas on your eyes as much as possible for the first 24 to 48 hours post-surgery. This will also help with the swelling as well as the bruising. Do not rub or scratch your eyes. Apply antibiotic ointment such as polysporin or triple antibiotic to the incision as directed by the physician. You can apply BSS, balanced salt solution, to your eyes for dryness if needed. Your sutures will be removed in five days. Take this eye cell from now. Well, maybe not. Well, they don't ever feel the eyes. Is he going to take this home? This he little, can take that home, yeah. A little hugger? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, he can take that home. Mm. That will help. Yeah, you can help with ice or the peas, and it's easier. Um, you can actually fill this thing up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We have filled it up with water, but it gets so hard that it's yeah. uncomfortable. Okay. So, yeah, peas or something like that is better. So you can take the frozen peas out of mm -hmm. the bag, or do you put them, put them in a, a How about sandwich crushed bag? Ice. Whatever you want to do. It's crushed ice. Crushed work. ice would work. He's yeah. got a crushed ice machine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that would work. That's kind of cool. Or any kind of, like, fresh ice, but not, like, a hard block like that. It's kind of hard to do. So this little bit opens up. Mm hmm And then it seals? You can, yeah. You peel this off, this blue thing off, and then just put this down like that and it seals it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's like wire. So you just peel it back a little bit and then just tuck it down in there. Okay. Okay. Dr. Brown will be in just a few minutes. As soon as they let me out for this thing, I have to pee though. All right. So Larry, what we did today was we took out that excess skin on your lower eyes and the excess skin on your upper eyes. Everything went really very well. That one little point hurt a little bit. Do you remember that or don't you remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought you woke me up. I'm sorry. The rest <laughs> of the time you, you, uh, I slept a lot. You did. Did you see what we did to you? No, I have no idea. Would you like to look? Sure. Open your eyes. So you see, Hans, you see this little bloody area here? That's that's to be expected. You probably had that too, right? So don't be don't be alarmed about that. Let's see. So expect a little bit of bleeding. Here we go. Hmm. Do you want to grab it? <laughs> wow, I'm a mess. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but when it heals up, it's going to be beautiful. I hope so. I know so. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get a blood pressure on you, and we'll see you... Actually, the best thing to do is Monday or Tuesday, if I could do that, because that way I don't have to go home all the way back. Perfect. Well, Tuesday would be better. Tuesday, okay. Did, okay. Did you have to take out any fat? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. So you oh. removed fat and skin. A lot skin. of fat from the lower eyelids, yeah. Okay, a lot of fat from yeah. the lower So that's eyelids. all going to tighten up. Oh, yeah. It's already tightened. It's already better than it was now, before, when you're still swollen from the local anesthesia. Okay, so how often should I have this ice on my eye? All the time. Mm -hmm. When you fall asleep, just let it fall off of you. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you take it off during the day at all? They yeah. Eat? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, on and off. Okay. If you need to. And take your pain medicines. Okay. The biggest thing is not to bend over, okay? Mm -hmm. Not to bend over. Mm. Alrighty. Okay. We'll we'll tell call you tell later. for the mole real quick. The what? The, the, you removed the mole. Yes. Yeah. He had a little mole there, and we just took it off and put a couple of stitches in there. Do you, Do you scrape it off or? I, I excise it, so he's got a couple of stitches in there, and I took that thing on 
off underneath the arm. Okay. For you. And he said the ear thing was already gone. Yeah. 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 It just kind of dried up and fell off. Yeah. Yeah. It does that sometimes. All right. All right. All right, Larry. So we're gonna get blood pressure on your knee. We're gonna call. Oh, what was it? One twenty over seventy. Jesus. You what? To be young again. (laughs) Is that a young man's blood blood pressure? But no bending over, right, Hans? Right. Okay. We'll call you later. Okay. All right. right, Thank you. You're welcome. Do you need help getting into the car? No. So am I ready to get up and go? Yeah, let's take that, okay? Did okay. so you have any questions? Do you have any directions and instructions nope. and everything? Yeah, I think he read them to me. Oh. You good? Yeah, I just need to take kind them. Kind of wake up a little yeah. bit. Don't jump up. Today is 24 hours post-operative of upper and lower blepharoplasty, which is the removal of extra skin and fat of the eyelids. Here we have Larry, who is now 24 hours post-operative. How are you feeling today, Larry? I'm feeling pretty good today. Yesterday I was kind of woozy because the drugs that I was taking may be kind of like slow, but today I feel good. Okay, good. Are you feeling any pain today from the surgery? Well, not really much pain. There's a little tiny bit just on the very bottom of my eyes. It's just a little tiny bit. But mostly what I'm feeling is like when you wake up in the morning and you have sleep in your eyes and it kind of itches right in the very corners of your eyes right there and right there. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have stuff in my eyes. So it kind of itches. It's not painful, but it does itch a little bit. Okay. Are you taking any meds for pain and discomfort? I can. I have both pain medication available and I have another medication to help me sleep and relax. Which is a Xanax. Yeah, Xanax is the one that makes it where I can relax, but that's the one that makes me feel kind of dopey too. Okay. The pain medicine doesn't seem to have any side effects. Mm-hmm. Now, for swelling and bruising, the, the doctor gave you a, it's a mask that you can put crushed ice in or peas and then it kind of straps around your head. How does it feel to wear the mask for 30 minutes on the hour throughout the day with the ice in it? Well, I'm not so sure I like the 30 minutes exactly on the hour. I like wearing it. It feels good. It's nice and cool. It's refreshing. Um, It's kind of a little bit difficult to place because it's got to be just exactly in the right place so that it cools both both upper and lower. And you don't want to wiggle it around because that kind of hurts a little bit. But once it's on, it feels very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the ice cooling keeping the eyes cool helps reduce the swelling and then reducing the swelling cuts down on the bruising. So if you would keep your face and your head completely still, I'm going to come in here to a close shot to look at your stitches and the swelling. Okay. So I am zooming in here. Well, while you're zooming in, I also thought I might mention that there's absolutely no problem at all with my vision. I see just as good as I always have. So my eyes are a little bit closed sometimes, but I see fine. No, no problem with that. Okay, shut your eye for me so you can see the sutures mm-hmm. where the excess skin was removed from the top and from the lower fat deposits were removed along with skin. If you notice below the eye, the sutures are not right up to the eyelid. The reason for this is because you had extra skin removed from both lower eyelids and in order for the eyes to not have a a negative side effect which is called ectropion and that means 
if you were to remove too much skin from the lower eyelid, it could pull the eyelid down permanently away from the eye. So if I were to put, take all that skin off here and put all the tension there, then that's going to give you an increased risk of, of that. So you don't want that. So he, the doctor, made this, removed a slice of skin in this area and sewed this back together in the natural crease. Now Hans, he just had fat. To get rid of that, you make an incision there, you take out fat. But you can see all that gobs of skin, right? So what we do for that is we make an incision from there to there. We keep it right in that shadow and we take out the skin and then we take out the fat. This is put together so fine that this is a natural ridge. At this point, it looks like it's going to be a scar, but it will not be when it heals. You will never see this. Up here at the top, the doctor cut to a natural crease in the eyelid. So you will not see that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at the other eye. Now this eye is p very puffy. And it definitely is in need of some ice to reduce that swelling. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And yeah, I'm ready for some ice on there. Yeah. It feels good. You can see that lower eyelid is very puffy. Now right here, you see a little suture down on the side of the nose. This is where a little small mole was removed. I think it was cut out and sewn back together. That will not scar. The, the sutures are so fine that when this heals, it will be minimalist scarring. We're going to go over here to the next eye, which this eye looks a lot better. These are removable stitches, which will be removed on day six. These are not dissolvable sutures because... He said that was because this is really small thread. It's small thread, okay. All right, now open your eyes, please. upper and lower blepharoplasty, which is the removal of excess skin, crepey eyelids, and fat deposits, which were in the lower eyelids, and excess skin sagging. Thanks for watching, and tune in for day two on the next video.